Hey, KU fans, thanks for checking out tonight's episode of KU Sports Extra. I'm Matt Tate, that's Tom Keegan, and we're at Allen Fieldhouse, a very special place at Allen Fieldhouse, if you didn't notice. Uh, and, and we're here to talk about KU's 89-74 victory over Stanford, a very special day for a lot of reasons. Jared Hess, homecoming was the biggest one by far. Yeah, and I've never really been around Jared Hess. Uh, nice guy. Nice guy, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it was very cool to see the ovation that he got. It started as a pretty nice ovation, and it just swelled. And it got louder, and it got louder. And finally, he acknowledged it. He knew it was going to be an emotional day, but he finally acknowledged it with a little wave, and, and that just brought it to a full-on roar. And it was a cool moment, well-deserved. I yeah, thought, and but like any coach, the emotions after the game, yeah. We're all determined about how his team played. Yeah, stats, he, he wasn't wins and losses. Real happy effort. with that, but yeah. boy, their big man Reed Travis sure kept Kansas's big men busy, and he set records for most free throws made in Allen Fieldhouse by an opponent and attempted. Yeah, it was unbelievable. What was he nineteen for twenty two? Nineteen for twenty two, and the old marks were eighteen and twenty one. So he knew it. Did just what he had to do, <laughs> and then he took a seat for the end because the game was really never in doubt. I mean, Stanford kept trying to fight and claw, but, but it was never really in doubt, and uh, KU maintained a lead throughout most of the game that was pretty comfortable. The biggest reason was the three-point shooting. This is the third game in a row that this team has shot 50% or better from three-point range. Well, they got off to a bad Ridiculous. start, and you knew they'd equal. They, they always yeah. head toward your batting That's average. That's like true. A, in baseball, by the end of the 162nd game, you are what you are. You are what you are. And sometimes you start hot and end slow, or vice versa. But they're a good three-point shooting team, no question. Yeah. But my favorite bucket was right at the hoop, switches hands, gets slammed into by a seven-footer, and throws it off the right side of the glass. It goes in, and Frank Mason flashed a rare smile. As good of a finish that was a non-dunk as you'll ever see, the, the best one I've seen maybe in all my time covering Kansas that, that was not a dunk. It was phenomenal. And uh, yeah, to see Frank Mason impress Frank Mason is, is definitely yeah, something. Yeah, a rare thing. Uh, Landon Lucas was back today too, and, and uh, he had a decent first half, showed some energy and a little bit of signs of life. Uh, and then, Still gave himself poor grades, yeah. which was good. And he, I asked him about um, showing his frustration. He's visibly frustrated on the court. A lot of moping, and eye rolling. He said, "I have to get better than that. At that, as a senior, I have to not do that." And that's good. Um, you know, you're not going to solve a problem unless you know you have it. So he's halfway to solving that problem. Yeah. This team is on fire. They're they're playing really well right now. They're playing just well enough. To have some things to work on, but some things to like too. Seven and one, Kansas beats Stanford 89-74, and they will play UMKC on Tuesday night back here at Allen Fieldhouse. For Tom Keegan and Matt Tate, thanks for checking out KU Sports Extra. We'll talk to you guys real soon.